Hey guys, so today's video is going to be kind of a different feel. It's going to be more vlog style. This week I'm not working on any major projects. I have a couple for future videos going, but I wanted to do a video for this week that was kind of like a follow-up to this project. <laughs> so here's the status of my poor little flower wall. Um, it's been super humid here and bunches of them keep coming off, especially the ones with the putty that I used right there. I did find a solution and it's these command strips. I have them right here. It's the damage free picture hanging ones. They come like this. This is a single strip. You're supposed to use two. But what I've been doing since the flowers aren't that heavy and they aren't that big, whoa, jumped away there. I've just been folding them in half and snipping them down the middle and then pressing one side on the flower wall and one side on, one side on the flower and one side on the wall, one side on the flower wall. <laughs> that makes sense. Can't you tell I was born to be a public speaker? So I'll go ahead and show you what I've been doing to fix the issue and then show you the process. Yeah, I'm not very good at this whole vlogging thing, but I'm willing to give it a shot. <laughs> I like it when you can like have edits and like cut out all of my awkwardness, but yeah. So pretty much what I've been doing is trying to match up the sticky stuff on the wall, the sticky tack that's on the wall with the flower on the floor just by what it looks like because I don't really want to have to reposition everything so this one makes a good match I'll take it off of the flower first and it's pretty simple to take it off it just maybe is a little time consuming honestly and then after I get a little ball of it off of the flower I'll go and I'll stick that to one of the pieces on the wall and it just makes it easier to pick it off of the wall itself and on my paint in my rental because we are renting uh, I feel like they used probably the cheapest paint available nothing wrong with that except it's leaving a little bit of residue but I found that if you take a little bit of a magic eraser to it it takes it right off but for right now, I'm not gonna mess with it. I'll go ahead and fix the wall when I take all of the flowers down when we move. And then like I said, I take this command strip, just one of them, I fold it in half, press it together, and kind of slide a pair of scissors in there. And snip it in half. It doesn't have to be perfect but just make sure that this piece is actually going to be the one that's stuck to the wall. So what I do then is I take the flower and then I'll take the command strip and peel off the side that's going to go onto the flower itself, not the one with the tabby on it. And I stick it to the back of the flower. I realize that it's not gonna come off super easy from the flower. Oh no, another one fell. <clears throat> At least you can see a little better. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, so I realize it's not gonna come off of the flower very easily, but that's fine. It's just a paper flower. I'm more concerned with keeping the wall intact. Then I simply peel off the side that's gonna go on the wall position it, hovering it above the wall, and then pressing it down. And this has worked really well for me so far. I realized that one of them fell down already, but that was because my dog, my dog um, knocked it down. But to stick it back, you literally just press it back into it. And I realized that you didn't see any of that, what I was talking about. <laughs> was this flower right here. So to stick it back, you just try to line up the line and press it in and it's fine. And it's 
dog proof and dog friendly. I wouldn't say dog proof. That's a lie. Nothing is dog proof. <laughs> but it is definitely dog friendly. So if they brush up against it or a ball hits it, a rogue ball, um, it will just knock off and then you can just press it back and it's much cleaner than just doing it like that. So now I have another one to fix, but I will go ahead and just do a time lapse for that. that I'm going to actually change it up just a little bit because I don't like how it's dark all in the middle. I know I have the lights coming up from there, but honestly, they're meant for the other room, so it's kind of a hassle to keep bringing them back in here every time I wanna film. So I'm gonna try to string another bit of Christmas lights, fairy lights, whatever you wanna call them, and just through there, just to add a little bit more interest to it. We'll see how it turns out. It may knock all the flowers down, but I'm going to try. And here it is all finished. I think it turned out really cool. I think it has a ethereal glow about it. It's really nice. I really like it. Um, I hope you can actually tell a difference on film. So because I don't know when to quit, um, I was staring at the flower wall for a couple days and I decided that I wanted to move my desk in front of it just to create a really nice backdrop from when I'm actually working at my desk. So I will show you what I did. Now you probably have already seen this if you watched my last video, but I just moved my desk in front of the flower wall and shifted some of the flowers up and kind of made it a little bit fuller. And I really like how it turned out. I think it's a really nice backdrop and I love, I really love the, the light coming from all inside the flowers. I think it adds a ton of dimension and it looks really cute. And... <laughs> Yeah, you get a little sneak peek of what the room is. This is my life, guys. Dog toys everywhere. Yes, I am that person that bought, what is it, 60 balls, 60 tennis balls, just for my dogs. My life is a floor of tennis balls. Yes, co-hosts, always here, always present. Anyway, I hope you liked this week's video. I know it's kind of a repeat video, but I wanted to show you what I was doing as well as do a follow-up just in case you try this and um, you have the same issue with that I did in the fact that it's humid and the sticky tack does not work as well. Next week, I promise it's going to be the new project in the dining room series. It might be the dining room chairs or the dining room table. I'm kind of working on them simultaneously. We'll see which one gets done first, but I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye guys. Say bye, Rosie. Say bye bye. Say bye, Mixel. <laughs> She's like, I don't speak. Say bye. Hey. Oh, good job.